Hey everybody, welcome back to Linux Cast. I'm your host Matt. And I'm Tyler. So this is the last episode of the year. Like this 2021 is over after today. Like this is like there's no more time after this. It's over. And um we don't have a plan for this podcast. Like that we have no topics. I don't even have the contact information in front of me, so you're not getting any contact information today. Uh I will thank the patrons at the end, but that's only because I have that scene already re- preloaded. If I didn't, that just wouldn't happen either because we have no plans. So, Tyler, buddy, old pal, you're to... you're using Windows again? <laughs> I am using Windblows, yes. It's <laughs> a, a, a bootloader into Unreal. Yeah, I, I, all, I, all I hear are excuses of, yeah, I'm using Windows. I'm a Windows fanboy. Yeah, that's yeah. What I heard. me and that's, Microsoft are definitely pals. Yeah. That's what I heard. I heard you say it. You and Microsoft mm-hmm. are definitely pals. You just said it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that All sound right. bite right there will bite me in the ass five years from now. You're get 100%. It dead. You, for the store, you should get yourself uh, have, a, have a picture of you hugging the Windows logo. <laughs> My God. <laughs> No, it's so good. I would buy that T-shirt. <laughs> I know you would, and that's the problem. So many people would. Like the, the only time anybody like who doesn't know anything about my channel sees my face, it would be me hugging a Windows logo. Huh. Like <laughs> it would just be so good because it's obviously the purest truth. <laughs> my God, no. I mean. Kind of, you know. I mean, yes. Secretly, me and Microsoft have a deep love affair that no one can know about. Bill Gates is the baby daddy. I'm just going to say. <laughs> <it's> the... <laughs> you can't tell people that, okay? <laughs> Tyler's mom and Bill Gates, about 24 years ago. <laughs> Look, his lawyers can't allow that information to get out, okay? <laughs> Legally, we're, I'm not supposed to be talking about this. I, I signed an NDA, okay? All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then Steve Ballmer's like the crazy uncle. Developers, developers, developers. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's hilarious. Okay, so I just want to talk a little bit about Linux for just a little while. I know this probably will offend you a little bit because you're you know the Windows the Windows guy here. Of course. Yeah. Um, Thank you for asking. Most people don't. Right, you know? I just want to make sure that you're okay with. It. I don't want you to defend your sensible, yeah. your your sensitive sensibilities or whatever. Um, I thought you were about to say using Windows was sensible. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> you wanted want to? Do, no, hell no. <laughs> uh, that's your job. <laughs> I was like, man, we need to have a com- uh, we have to have a conversation. Okay, so all right, uh, we'll we'll get to the next talk in a second. But I just want to say this out loud. I have not used Windows like for any appreciable amount of time in over two years. Like, I have installed it one time. I installed it on this computer back here for about an hour and a half because I needed to up- update the firmware on this camera that I had bought. Um, but uh, I immediately uninstalled it. Other than That's that, what they all say. I, haven't, I haven't used Windows for any appreciable amount of time in over two years. And I can't say that I'm unhappy about that at all. I can't think of one thing about Windows that I miss. Is oh, that- I, I thought you were saying you can't really say that you're not like you're you're happy without using it. I was like, wait, what? You want to go back to using Windows? No, never. Like, I I can't think of anything on Windows. Like, I think back to my Windows days because I was a Windows user for a long time. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out why, what I what I would miss. What is there one thing on Windows that I would like to be able to have back? And I can't think of a single thing. Like, would it be cool to be able to use Adobe Audition to edit the podcast? I no. Mean, no. <laughs> I mean, Audacity seems to be okay. I mean, I'm used to it And now. also, why pay? Why pay that much money right, <laughs> just I, to edit the podcast? But I mean, at a certain point, I mean, it was... I'm not... It wasn't even the money so much. It was because Adobe Audition is a good program, but I don't miss it. I don't miss Premiere. I never was really into it at that point because I never did, you know, video podcasts at that point when I was still using Windows. So I, I'm trying to think of other things on Windows that I would like to have, and I can't think of any, like not a single one. Like, 
so I think I, I think I am the Linux user. Like I, <laughs> the guy who's just never going to switch away from Linux. So, well, I mean, winning. the funny thing is, is like I'm kind of the same way, except for like I just want to get I just want to get a game made, and Godot is not. It's not really ready for 3D yet. Mm. It can do 3D. It definitely can. But it is not ready for 3D for just your indie one person making a game. It's It doesn't make it simple to make a 3D game. Uh, 2D is fantastic. Mm. Um, however, I'm trying to make a 3D game. And <clears throat> like that's kind of the only thing that Windows is good for is the saw, like just some software is more it's not necessarily that it's better on windows it's just that it's more stable like unreal i'm going to compile from source on linux anyway um because you have to there's not you there's no epic games launcher obviously on window on linux thank god um but anyway uh you have to compile it from source so that's the same engine it's just it's more prone to bugs on linux um Still, it runs fine. A, a, a German tank guy says 3D is bloat. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> All right, so I want to talk about Linux for a minute. I am thinking about distro hopping. I'm just going to put that out there. I have the itch again. And it's probably a bad idea because my Linux install is working fantastically right now. Like, it's like really good. Audio is working good. You know, I have all the stuff set up that I need to have set up. I got, you know, cron jobs running in the background that need to be running and all the stuff is working fantastically. But I got the itch again. I want to go through and <laughs> distro hop <laughs> just because apparently I want to go through and set this all up all over again. Because, you know, what? it's not as if anything else is going to change. I'm going to go through. I'm going to install DWM. I'm going <laughs> to. So I'm gonna have all the same themes, the same key bindings, the same applications are gonna be installed. Literally, nothing else is going to change other than instead of using Pac-Man S to install, I'd be mo- using Apt because I want to. I'm thinking about switching to MX Linux. So yeah, I was thinking. So about just, just, just cause. Just cause. Well, I, all right. So there is a good reason. So MX has this tool called the snapshot tool and what it will do is take everything in your home partition and your root partition your entire distro and make it into an iso so you can go through and create that tool create your iso take it out of one computer put it in another install the exact same iso on another computer or just have it for a backup and you're good to go like everything like window managers themes wallpapers pictures music everything it's really cool uh and i kind of want it <laughs> but i don't know why i want it it's one of those things where you don't really need it like i don't like i have the capability of just get pulling the stuff that i need to you know do but why not do it this way i don't know it's one of those stupid things um so i i don't know i mean it'll be fun I that's think, for sure i think that's the the thing about just helping is that it is fun you know mm. but the thing is i don't really need to waste that time i could be doing other <laughs> things other than going through uh, what i probably gonna end up doing is instead is i've been thinking about redoing my dwm install because there's a couple patches that i want to use instead so right now i use uh the status 2d patch to do color in the bar and that's fine. It works well. But there's another one that allows you to get a whole ton more options for colors in the bar, uh, including changing the colors of every aspect of, like, the tag names. So you could change the, the text, the background, the foreground, all of it. And um, I'm thinking about doing, going through and redoing that because uh, starting over and, and just repatching everything is way easier than going through and pulling out a patch. So... Um, that's what I've been thinking. I've been, I'm probably going to end up doing that. And I've also been trying to think about trying that, that flexi patch thing. Cause that looks kind of cool. So yeah, that's what well, I, I do have to say. Um, uh, TFL posted binary into the chat and I got distracted looking it up. He's uh, just for anybody who wants to know, uh, what he's saying in binary, he's saying binary is the best. And quite frankly, I disagree. It sucks. That was very difficult to translate, and it distracted me. Thanks, TFL. <laughs> so, 
when, when it comes when it comes to switching over, like, are you sure you're not gonna miss the AUR quite a bit? Oh, I know I will. <laughs> like, I, you know, you know, if I distro hop, Tyler, you know that within a week I'll be right back on Arco. Like, you know I know, if, and that, that's my whole thing. Like, you're like, <laughs> I'm trying to like catch the cycle before it even starts. Like, like you, you're gonna go over there, like, and you're gonna be like, oh, this is nice, but there's no AUR. Okay, so. I've been doing a long-term review on Fedora, and I am really, really impressed with the software availability on Fedora. So, like, if you enable the proper repositories on Fedora, you basically have access to everything you could possibly need. I haven't come across one thing on Fedora that I couldn't install, including Alacrity. Like, Alacrity, a lot of times, isn't in a repository. Like, on Ubuntu, you can't just install Alacrity. You just can't do it. Mm -hmm. You have to build it, or you have to use Pop OS, which, for whatever reasons, it's in their repositories and not Ubuntu's, but whatever. On Fedora, it's been really good. Um, so, uh, and there's GNOME, so obviously you love it. <laughs> I will say this: I have not been using GNOME. <laughs> I have I have DWM installed, so <laughs> I did go through and rice GNOME. Like I made it pretty, but after I was done with that, I immediately left and went back to DWM. Um, they ate. I, I love it because it's just like your attitude towards the gnome is just great it's like yeah I threw some glitter on the turd and then I moved on like, I, like, oh, <laughs> like, I wanted to make sure if anybody else coming across they could be happy with it but there's no way I'm using this first of all uh, die German pen guy in the chat is banned for all eternity he said the AUR is bloat um, no <laughs> look it's, there are plenty of lazy maintainers in the AUR but but it's so damn good. It's so good. What am I supposed to use instead? Gen 2? I mean, am I supposed to be sitting there compiling everything for the next hour and a half? I, I, oh, I want to download NeoFetch, but I got to compile it first. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I, uh, I have some Linux plans that are bubbling away. <laughs> in the back of my head but you're like you're right you you know at the end of the day if i do distro hop i'll just be hopping right back to argo this is so good man oh, well, i mean that's the thing we all have our like we all have our home linux distro like you start off using linux yeah you change up you try some different stuff but then eventually like you find your home and you're like ah i go other places but i always come back like here mm -hmm. like um, oh. I was talking to one of my patrons, Sid. He was uh, he has a very complicated Linux setup. He has like twelve Linux distributions installed on a couple hard drives, and um, I was thinking like maybe I should just do that, you know, because I I hop all the time. Why not just keep a partition of every one that I like to hop to? So I'll have an MX one. I'll have Arco. I'll have Vanilla Arts. I'll have Ubuntu. I'll pop. I'll have like. 12 different Linux distributions on several different part partitions uh, manage the grub hell that that would be, <laughs> you know, because you know that's going to be like, the worst. I'm not going to lie, situation. I don't have an anxiety problem at all, but that made me anxious. I was like, oh, oh there's there's so much scattering like, like what happens if you need files from like one system on another one? How are you going to duplicate that? Do you have enough hardware, like, like storage space to okay, actually so have all your files on each in, one. In this computer here, I have an NVMe that's a terabyte. I have two 500 gigabyte SSDs, and I have two two terabyte spinner drives in this one computer. Plus, I have a 14 terabyte external hard drive, so I think I'm pretty yeah, good you're fine. on storage. Um, well, I mean, it depends on how many, you know, questionable videos you have stored on your computer. Which I'm going to assume is, you know, in the moderate amount, you know. Uh, um, <laughs> no comment. Yeah, I got you. About that. <laughs> well, a lot, so, I, I still have files from when I was a teenager, so uh, all that stuff's still on there, too. That's why, like, so how are you going to, I mean, I guess you could just keep the bulk of all of your storage on you know, separate drives. It, I mean, you could have it mounted. Like, yeah, you could definitely do that. Okay, so yeah, the way the way Linux works, I know you probably forgot about this thing. So you're a Windows user now. 
<laughs> I mean, you're the one that's you could have went through the whole podcast and not told me and I wouldn't have known because I would have known but you told me so you had to have known that you were going to get trolled the whole fucking way through oh I knew I knew what was coming um anyways so the way Linux works is like right now I have Arco on one hard drive and Fedora on the other but I can actually go through and access the files between them as long as I have Polka enabled. So it's actually fairly easy to create like symlinks. So um, as long as you have enabled those, like, like it gets finicky if you don't give it pseudo access first. You've got to make sure that you access those drives like the manual way where they're actually at before you go to the symlinks. Otherwise, they'll be broken. It's weird. That can uh, get annoying I, pretty fast, though. It does. And then we get way more annoying if I had 12 different distros where I had to do yeah. that. So, but Well, I mean, like, that's kind of possible. what I'm saying. Like, if you prepared for it, you could store all of the files that you're going, you're, like, where you're going to actually store all of your stuff off of that one drive where you're going to have all of the partitions for your 12 different distros all give them, you know, enough space for the actual operating system and then all of your files are stored elsewhere so they can all individually access them all. Like yeah. you just have a home... Oh, well, I mean, that's one thing that you could do. You could just have one drive be your home directory and then just mount that for each distro. Um, yeah, that'd probably work. I could also do something super complicated where I put all of the necessary files up on Git, Git pull them to every single distro, and then when I make changes, just get push them up so that it would then apply to all of the uh, repositories on all of the things. That, that sounds great until you start thinking about wallpapers. <laughs> like, yeah. that's going to take The thing is, though, so I, can, I, I have a, a hard drive where I can just put the wallpapers and just access them. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. not all of my hard drives are going to be Linux distros. It, I have like a 500 gigabyte SSD that has all my video stuff on it. I could just make a, a you know, a directory on that that's just for wallpapers. It'd be easy to connect to. Yeah. Um, I could literally do that for everything, though. I mean, literally, there's. I mean, I I have my music on the external hard drive. I have all my pictures there. What else do I? I mean, the only thing that would be different between then the different partitions would be like downloads. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, yeah. So, what I'm hearing is we have now walked you through the process of installing, and now you are now a 12 distro user. Oh, correct? man. It kind of sounds fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Just, <laughs> it kind of sounds fun. Uh, yeah, I, I'll have to get contact with Sid, see if he can walk me through actually setting up Grub, because <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually played around with Grub, because I've never, like, I haven't dual, I mean, all right, so I, I have messed around with Grub, but it's been probably five or six years because I haven't dual booted anything in five or six years. Like even now, I have two distros, but I don't mess around with Grub. I just have them, when I want to go into one, I just get into the boot menu and go to that hard drive. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. I well, know. I mean, you shouldn't have to play around too much with it, hopefully. Like, gr Grub shouldn't take you too long to get set up. I know with that many distros, it's still, like... <laughs> Well, it's going to be a little bit of a hassle. The biggest issue is that there are some distros that just don't play well when they're not in charge of the grub. You mm -hmm. know, like Arch does not like being the first distro on your on your hard drive and then having another uh, like distro come in and take over the grub management, you know? No. Um, so it, it's, it's just like... It's just like with Windows. You should know this. You're a Windows guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, Windows does not l like it when other things on your hard drive take control of the bootloader. It just oh, yeah. will die, you know? Well, so actually, Windows is kind of a great... Like, Windows is like bootloader will kind of be like the boot manager or whatever it's called. will just kind of be like, oh, I see grubs on here. That little thing's trying to steal my stuff and then just wipe it out. <laughs> just I mean, you it. see those old c old cartoons where the characters get into a fight and it's just a cloud of them beating the shit out of each other? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think it's kind of worse. I mean, like, Windows Boot Manager is kind of like, it takes Grub out for a nice walk and it's like, just look over there at that beautiful sunset then pops in the back of the head. Like, <laughs> it's Windows Boot Manager. <laughs> it just they're, they're annihilates walking, Grub. And walking across, walking along the cliff. Hey, look, that not that a nice view 
then he just shoves him off. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Grub. Let me but know I how think... soft it is on the way down, you jugass. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think Windows, to be honest, has gotten better about that. But I still like I don't really dual boot a lot, especially when it comes to on, like I think you Windows gets like real egregious when it's on the same drive. Like that's when it really like Windows Boot Manager don't like that. Um, and I always dual boot on like if I'm going to dual boot, I'll do it on separate drives, and that normally doesn't have any problems um you know. yeah yeah uh. we talked way too much about windows i'm kind of i mean well i mean in talk the only thing we've really talked about about linux or uh windows has been how it, it's egregious that i'm using it and how bad it is that's it and how much you love it uh, i mean you've been uh, we've seen you hugging the windows logo you haven't seen it. This photo doesn't exist. This photo should I, exist. I hate that because I just said that and it occurred to me, Dylan is really good with AI and he is definitely on my Discord. He has about 8,000 images of my face I on his computer saw right that. now. I was like, dude, first of all, why do you need so many? <laughs> well, we're working on a project where he's going to deep fake me and then he's also going to deep fake like he's going to deep fake my face and put it on his and then also deep fake my voice and then i'm going to have an interview and just like not really an interview like not like proper or like formal but i'm just going to have a conversation with myself and like just post that just kind of a, as a cool thing of like this is like something that we did because uh, obviously he's working with ai so it's just kind of a cool thing that he can do I don't know whether or not to be impressed that he has that amount of time on his hands or a little bit creeped out that he has that still has that much of your face on his heart. Because I saw it like he has like what it was like eight gigabytes or something worth of your face <laughs> on his heart. Well, I, according to the image, I believe he's got like, I don't know how many hundred over, but he's definitely got over 8000 pictures of my face. And they're like they're pictures of exactly my face. Like they've been ran through an AI program that like deletes everything other than just my face. I'm pretty that. sure we're gonna come into a situation where Tyler's had his identity stolen by Dylan, uh, mm -hmm. and <laughs> you will no longer be your own person. He'll be like the Matrix, where he's living your life, but you're like locked in a basement somewhere because he's gonna. <laughs> or the the weirdest thing w would be when he starts like managing the discord more often and just deep fakes my face and everything and changes his username to something very close to mine like my username but with a dot after it so you can barely tell it's not me <laughs> he just pops in there and then it's me like hey man like what are you doing and you're like, like that that'll be weird <laughs> when i'm managing my discord but i'm not even there see and we know that dylan uses windows so how are we ensure that this hasn't already happened yeah <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Dude, I might be Dylan right now. You don't even know. I'm pretty sure you are. I'm just saying. You, I mean, it would explain. <laughs> explain. If, it, if it does get that good, if he does do that good of a job, then we definitely need to have a podcast. Like, if the deep fake is actually, like, really convincing, definitely need to have him just be on the podcast and see if anyone notices. So there's that whole thing where everybody thinks that Mental Outlaw is just the deep fake version of Luke Smith. Um, there's gonna, there's gonna be a new Linux channel where there's like a, like a black version of you <laughs> and making a Linux content, but you're really the same person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd subscribe to that. That'd be, that'd be good. <laughs> That's actually what I do. To, uh, die German pin guy. I do need to tell, uh, Dylan to do that. He should definitely just make another, like a separate YouTube channel and then just upload there. But it's just him making videos and like deep faking me <laughs> and it's just like it confuses the hell out of people oh god that'd be great oh god all right so how f you haven't played around with your game in quite a long time right well i'm starting it from scratch because i still didn't find the game files oh that's right you told me that you'd lost them they were they're on a portable two terabyte hard drive that i always kept in this room mainly because it was almost always plugged up to my TV in the back of it, you know, because it had legally acquired movies and TV shows on it. Of course. Of course. course. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Um, 
uh, it just it vanished. I have I know it has to be somewhere here at the house or at my grandparents' house. There's only two places it could be. Um, but I've searched everywhere. I can't find it. And finally, at this point, it's been like four months. So I'm like, screw it. It's you're gonna, time to get you're back You're going to find it. that thing one day and it's going to be attached to like your grandmother's laptop or something. Mm-hmm. And she's going to have been down it, downloading her knitting patterns on it and overwritten all of your game files anyways. <laughs> <sighs> I swear, if if all of my stuff is overwritten with like tax files, I'm going to freak. I'm just going to be like, come on. <laughs> It'd be great. <laughs> So, so you're starting over. Do you ha- what? What are your plan? Are you do you have um, like upgrade plans? Like you have a different path towards what you were taking, or mm-hmm. what are you gonna um, do? It's so for the stream that I do later on. Um, I've got it scheduled closer to towards four, so about another hour. Um, I'm gonna show off like the project and 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 everything that's going on in it, and then also we're going to actually whip up and finalize a uh, game outline document, but it's an infinite runner and shooter um, where you're trying to uh, uh, escape a massive, uh, essentially infinite city. Um, Again, it's an endless runner, so it's procedurally generated. um, And mainly the reason I'm choosing this is because I found a, there's a template that's completely free uh, that I'm using. Uh, it's for Unreal. It's on the marketplace, um, but it's an endless runner flying shooter template. I've modified it because I don't need the flying aspect. It's, it's really neato. I'll show it off in the live stream, but not for, it's not for what I'm making. Um, but it, it made all of the mechanics super easy, and so all I had to do was essentially like re, like remap a skeleton onto my character's model and all of, all of that goodness and get his animation set up. So it made it a lot simpler to get started. And uh, also I really, really like the, the like actual gameplay of it. Like the flow, the mechanics are really nice. Um, and it just, it makes it super easy so I can build, just start building the actual game world, make it look really, really good and interesting focus on story and stuff so uh yeah i'm pretty excited about it but i don't have any formal game document to like go over and exactly tell you a short description about it because i wanted to do that i want to do that live like with everybody um because even though i'm making it i do kind of want it to be a community sort of driven project um i remember when I first saw you streaming, when you were making it before, I was just so damn impressed, man, because um, I have no talent like that whatsoever. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even be able to begin, like, where I even know what to start. So I have no, in- I mean, first of all, I'm not really interested in developing my own game, because I'm not a gamer. I, my, my game would be pretty damn boring if I ever developed a game. I mean, <laughs> no action whatsoever. But um, I was just really impressed with it, because, like, you have definite skill in that area so i'm gonna definitely Thank you. check out some of your your stream um i'm i'm glad because I, t- I talked with tfl for a while and so tfl does know how much like i told him how much time i wasted doing like messing around with stuff it's been a again it's been a while since i've mess around with game development especially 3d game development so i was like refreshing myself i spent like four hours but like when i was should be working on a project figuring out what i want to do and get inspiration and everything i spent like four hours messing around with foot ik which is like where you can realistically move a foot like and the rest of a skeleton like you could move a leg based off of where like the foot should be and the leg will move realistically i spent four hours doing that and then it occurred to me the game I'm making, it doesn't matter if his foot placement is exactly on the floor. Like, the camera is, like, going to be, like, 25 meters back. It doesn't... You'll never notice. So I spent, like, four hours working on a realistic thing that no one... I guarantee you, no one would notice if I actually implemented it in the game. <laughs> no one. <laughs> uh, rat holes, the, the, the best. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about. So... I've been promising something for at least two years. Like I've been talking about it every single podcast, not only since you joined, but when Martin was here. I know exactly what this is, and I'm excited. And I have been promising a website. 
like for the mm-hmm. Linux cast. And there is now a website for Linux cast. You can't visit it. It's not online yet. <laughs> it's not, it's not, don't hold, don't, so don't get too excited about it. It's not there, but it exists. Like the files are there, and um, like the work has actually began. It's all done. It's literally all I gotta do is push it up, oh. and it's ready to go. Um, the only thing I'm waiting for is I'm trying to create a script so that I can actually update it via like a Bash script, but. Every time I tried to get, I, got, I had some question with Bash, so and I didn't want to bother TFL because he's usually my go-to when it comes to Bash. So I got into the Bash subreddit on 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 Reddit and asked my question, and the only answers I've got was, "Hey, why don't you do this in Python?" Like, well, because oh, nice. I don't know how to do it in Python, and I, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, and I, I mean, I'm learning, but I don't think I could go this far yet. Okay. <laughs> Like, I, I, like, I'm, I'm just starting. So I, like, I don't. Yeah. So yeah, the subreddit ended up being like a horrible idea for for answers. And then I went to the like, there's like a a, a, a Linux like um a Discord server. I don't know what it's called, but they have like a mm-hmm. section for Bash programming. So I asked my question there. First person to respond. Why don't you do this in Python? Because like, <laughs> I wanted to do it. In, like, Seriously, all I need to do is add one line constantly to to the to the HTML file. Like that's all I need to do is add a line, which is basically a, a link. Like every time I run the file or the, the the script, that's all I need to do. And sed should work just perfectly fine. But everybody was like, "Well, technically, sed's not use the really can't parse this or whatever. Where you should use Python." Oh, <laughs> Linux elitism! I love it. It's great. The the best thing is is like I know TFL and now he's like okay now I can't go to sleep he's like he, this is going to be his fuel for like how he can't go to sleep he's like I- I'm going to use this to stay up because Matt needs help <laughs> TFL was <laughs> fantastic I did finally reach out to TFL and and asked him. oh you did yeah and mm-hmm. he offered to even do it for me which is just I mean a testament to his mm-hmm. character um I want to work and I, and I will. I said I I may take you up on that but I'm trying to learn and do it on my own mm-hmm. so I'm st- I'm still working on it. That's, if I stop making videos, I probably actually work on it for a little while longer today. But um, yeah. Anyways, the w- website's done. I c- can show everybody who's who's watching the video version can see. I believe if I um, maybe I don't actually have a. I don't have a scene that's just for to, just for the actual screen. So I can't show you this. So I, I apologize for that. But uh, it, it does exist. It's there, and it should be up by the time we do another episode. Because, like I said, all I have to do is push it. Even if I have to say, if I have to scrap the script idea and just push it up and do the links manually, because literally all it is would be typing in the link every time I need to update it. So <laughs> this is literally the epitome of laziness. Because I wanted a script so I could just press the button. <laughs> no, so this is not like a WordPress site or something. Oh like no, that? no, it's pure HTML and CSS. What I did was I took all the code from HexDSL site copied and pasted it and then made it my own so <laughs> hey you want it? it's creative commons um yes i love it i love it so much because that's exactly what i would do if i was gonna make a website right. i just go to his and copy it i'm gonna um i'm gonna sh- let me save this um in discord i'm gonna s- send this to you so you can actually see it it's in um it's in our chat here um, Ooh. upload a file, and then uh, this is going to be the most pointless part of the podcast because nobody else is going to be able to see this, but you'll be able to see it. That's all that matters. That way, you can you can tell everybody else that it does in fact exist. All right, is it has been sent? And now apparently, I got mentioned. Um, oh. So I like it, dude. That's clean. So it it does, like see it exists. You you, you see it. <laughs> you, I do see I, it. I, you can't there see is it. there is a visual proof. And it's like it's there. Um. And so yeah, it does exist. So that's exa- That is exactly what. It, and it, I didn't copy this into the vi- the thing I sent you, but at the bottom, I do give credit to HexDSL. So I didn't just yoink it and not give credit. So, um. Yeah. Well, but, yeah. I I I will give you props. You are very uh, a very generous and nice guy most people do not give credit it, it's in the license terms okay you have to it's 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 usage with attribution or whatever it's called that's what cc that was the cc 4.0 that he used so 
I did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways. Well, um, I will say one thing. Uh, now, this is completely, I mean, not necessarily off topic. goes with what you're saying. But um, so my podcast with Hex TSL will be coming out tomorrow for anyone who is interested in seeing more of Hex or. You did a podcast with Hex DSL? Mm-hmm. Yep. I also have uh, podcasts lined up, not necessarily okay i've already recorded a podcast with dt and gavin uh freeborn and uh those will be coming out uh shortly after hexes um and then you're, you're gonna I've be got, more famous than me and that doesn't bother me at all i don't know, <laughs> I don't know about that <laughs> it's, it's great man that's awesome i'm gonna definitely listen to that and i'm i mean i'm a little jealous that you're cheating on me with hex dsl but <laughs> i'm just saying i had him first boys knock off well, I think what I'm, I, I haven't talked with uh, Jeff about it, but me and Jeff are kind of like really lax on our podcast. And we're like, I mean, we don't, I mean, we're just casually talking and if we miss it, like it doesn't matter or anything. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of integrate it all together into one podcast because I've got the Linux land podcast and this new series that's coming up. It's going to be called the Linux crew. Um, and I think I'm just, I think I'm just going to merge it together. So me and Jeff, when we do do podcasts, it'll, it'll just get loaded up as the Linux cast. Linux cast. Good Lord. No, you can't okay. have, you can't have Linux the name, crew. bro. It's my name. All right. I know. <laughs> you can't, you can't steal that from me too. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis uh, said, can't hear you, but hello. <laughs> Hi, Lewis. Uh, uh, so, is there anything, like, new uh, on the horizon for you, video-wise? Anything new, interesting? No, basically the same old shit that I've been doing. Um, I have... So, I I t- was talking about this before we started recording. But I have many different um, videos recorded going, so... Uh, I have a couple of distro reviews that are just, you know, the normal stuff. I have some Vim tips that I've been – because I switched – I talked about how I switched all my writing to Vim. So I did a video on that. Uh, I did a video about me ranting about Pipeware for about 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. So that should be fun. Uh, and yep. then uh, I have this like a, a, a couple stupid ones. And I'm thinking about a short – a couple shorts this, this week too because you're supposed to do some shorts like to prod the algorithm or some shit. So yeah, the shorts do extremely well. Like they'll well they'll they'll either do okay, but then you'll just have those few that just pop off and get an insane amount of views for some reason. So I hate vertical video. Like I I can't stand the black bars, but I've gotten used to it. The thing that I can't do is stay under a minute. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. like I watched like the shorts that DT does. And he always has, like, it seems like he he's able to say so much in that minute. Me, I do, like, the minute, and, like, it feels like it's so short and I didn't say anything. It's It drives me nuts. And I can't stay, like, I just can't do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Chicken just says, only fans win. Like, <laughs> nobody wants to see that, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you. you think that's what you think but when you're paying your house like your house bill your mortgage and everything with all the money that you make just okay. just taking pictures of pictures of your feet so all right there so you go my mother watches dr phil okay she's a big she, i mean she hates the man but she watches it every day she she thinks he's the most narcissistic bastard ever but she loves him uh or i mean she was like well, I was watching him but anyway she had the other day uh, I managed to be around her while she was watching Dr. Phil, and he was doing an episode about Linux content cr- creators. Like this guy, he apparently made a million dollars, or a, he had 10 million subscribers. All he does is shake his ass to the same song every single video. And the only thing that's different is where he's doing it. Like, first of all... Wait, he, wait, you said he was a Linux creator? No, 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 YouTube creator. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. No, he just... Ran, no, he, I don't... No, but like, it's a YouTube, I was like Linux creator, and he shakes his ass, and he's got ten million subscribers. Like, who? There. Um, but he's, he's a YouTube creator. All he does is go in there and shake his ass, uh, like whatever. And he, so Doctor Phil had another guy on there. And said that's the kind of guy I want to emulate. 
Like, all you gotta do is gotta <laughs> there and shake your ass. I mean, it's so fucking stupid. Um, I don't remember how I got into this 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 topic, but like, uh, when you're gonna release your OnlyFans? Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Um, during that same episode, some woman was like, I mean, a beautiful woman, but she uh. Um, was a nurse, but she got fired because she had an OnlyFans, and now instead of making like eighty thousand dollars as a nurse, she makes three hundred thousand dollars a month on OnlyFans. <laughs> like, okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't. Where... Okay. So uh, back to the question: When? No, it's not. Gonna... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Mm-mm. Well, look. Look, um, we'll just... Here's what we'll do. All of the content that would go on to OnlyFans, we'll just put on t-shirts and sweaters and everything and what, sell on the store. What I thought you were going to say is, well, I'm going to contact Dylan and see if we can't deep fake some of this stuff. And- <laughs> <laughs> no, see, just keep making videos. Uh, preferably ones with more of just... Post more shorts. Um, and then as soon as we got enough of those, we'll, we'll get on that. If Dylan ever has a thousand pictures of me on his hard drive <laughs> well, we're gonna know something he definitely is having some kind of issue there where he's obsessed with somebody like hey. do you do this for other co- content creators too i mean do you does he have like a folder on there of, of like luke smith and and dr mm. dr beast mr beast and everything on there he's like he's really great he, he does have elon musk which is great <laughs> Oh, that's great. <laughs> All right. Um. So. <laughs> They're on the topic of, of, of OnlyFans. Uh, you need to cut off the hello, I'm this and that, and you can find me here and there, and I need to thank my patrons. And you'll be under a minute. Oh, he's talking about being... Uh, shorts like yeah i don't usually do that in the shorts though i usually start but i still have a problem doing a minute because you know you really don't realize how short a minute actually is until you start to record a video on it on it yeah so um, and especially when you have something to say like if you got something to actually say shorts are it's so difficult yeah definitely uh, but youtube likes them like they eat that shit up mm-hmm. the first few that i did people didn't like um, but that's because they weren't short. <laughs> they were like five minutes long. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, 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 uh, this, like one of the comments, like this is not a short. This is you didn't follow the directions. I, I remember the first time DT did a short. Like he, he, DT still doesn't do shorts correctly because he do, he does them in landscape mode. He doesn't like vertical videos either. Um, so his don't technically count as shorts. Um, but uh, I remember the first time was like everybody in the in that comment section was like you did it wrong. <laughs> Like he did it wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, that was the same with mine. Like you did it wrong. Like I, I can't, I can't do a minute. Like a minute is too short. Like and they want, they don't want a minute. They want you to do it in fifteen seconds or less. That's what, that's what they want. Yeah. Um, the, I mean, the shorter the better. They do. Um, I, I can barely say five words in fifteen seconds because I'm stuttering. Like, but. Well, as soon as the pressure's on, man, it's like 15 seconds. All right, I got I to gotta spit out everything right now. Right. Let's go, let's go. One day, I'm going to release like a bloopers reel of all of my stuff because I keep all of my videos, right? So I can go back through all of my like flubs and shit. And oh, yes. It's going to be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> it's like I have, a, I, have a, I have a bloopers folder in my, on my hard drive. Weird. You definitely need to do a video that's like Linux YouTuber uh, fail, like f- Linux YouTuber fail supercut. That would do so well. That would do so well. Yeah. Like I have this. It, the only problem is I'm, I am I don't do a good job of saving them. Like I, ha- like I have all the, the videos in raw form, but sometimes I don't go through and cut out the funniest parts and save those parts separately. So Ooh. I'd have to go through and do that. But um, there's the, the, usually my funniest parts are at the end when I'm trying to read out all the patrons' names, uh, because <laughs> like like there's a, there's a new guy who just subscribed on YouTube. His name is Carbon Dated, and uh, uh, today t- today was the first day I did a video where he ended up on the the end screen, and his name ended up being Carbonated. Carbonated, Car- <laughs> carb- carbonated. I did carbon, car- carbon, carbonated, 
And then eventually I got it to the point where it was carbon dated, but it, it, it took me like four different goes throughs to fucking get it right. Um, it, and it doesn't like some of the things like I always do a really good job like up to that point because I mean it doesn't really matter prior to that because I can always go through and edit stuff out right. But at, once I get to that patrons thing, I I always mess it up like every single time. Sometimes there was one time I, I, it took me nine times of starting over that patron section. <laughs> like I just had to keep replaying because I kept messing up on a name or two or something. It was really it was weird. Mm-hmm. I don't know why that. Uh, eventually, I'm getting to the point now where I have so many patrons that it's getting hard to name to read them all out in a reasonable amount of time. So I'm gonna have to do what Brody did and just say all these fine people, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, first world problems, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Got too many supporters. Yeah, yeah I know. Never gonna say that. Mm-hmm. I I wish that was my problem. <laughs> yeah, wish. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, so... I don't know. What else? So, let's take a... Let's do a question and answer. So, if anybody in the comments or in the chat there has questions, you can leave a question in the in the chat. I need to yeah. alternate ears because these fucking headphones are just horrendously bad when you have glasses on. Um, drives into the side of your head. Well, it, well, that and it presses your the the like the wire of your your frame of your glasses into your ear, so my ears hey. feel like they're about to fall off. I'm pretty sure. Hey. Oh. So yeah. Uh so, so you so you've done podcasts now with Hex and you've done with DT and Gavin. You said right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are going to be really fun. I bet you. Um, mm-hmm. I, Obviously, I've got to record another one with Jeff, um, and that one will go under that new podcast. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I want. I obviously am going to record one with you for that. Um, just don't know when I'm going to do it because, to be honest, I'm, I haven't hit up anyone else to record a podcast. Um, Gardner Bryant will uh, hopefully. Uh, I'll catch him when he's free. He's really busy. I mean, he's, I think he's moving or something. Like, he's doing a whole bunch of stuff right now, so he's just busy. I mean, I, who isn't busy? It's the holiday season, so. Yeah. Um, but eventually, uh, um, I'll do one with, do one with Gardner Bryant. Um, I'm trying to think. I've talked, I've talked to other people too. Uh, almost everyone that I've reached out to has been really nice and wanting to do a pod- podcast, which is really nice. Oh, that's cool. uh, there is one person who turns me, who has turned me down, but he know who, he knows who he is, and he knows he's better than me. So we won't bring up names at all. He just he, he knows he's too good. And no, I'm not talking about Matt. Okay, no, <laughs> I would never. I would never turn you down, man. I might charge you a lot exactly. of money to do it, but I'd say yes. <laughs> exactly. It might it might cost me three hundred dollars. I but, would, I would even charge it. You know, I'm just being but here's the thing: I would be more than willing to pay it, but the only way that I'm paying is through Patreon. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll let that uh, sink in for a second because that does have repercussions. Oh God! <laughs> I just thought about it. Like, no, <laughs> I'm not so intent to just be on your fucking podcast. <laughs> that would sting so oh, bad. You definitely need to do that. <laughs> That'd be such a troll. I'd, still be, be, I'd, so I'd be so pissed off at you. I would come all the way there. You'd, to get, you'd you. get the money and you'd be like, yes, and then you'd realize, like, you'd see the goal in the fact that it's hit, and you'd be like. So uh, I cannot believe this asshole. All right. So, um, obviously, I don't need any monetary compensation, but for, for, for mine, let's just one week when we're going to do this podcast, meet an hour or an hour and a half early and record yours first. I like it. I mean, then we don't have to worry about schedules. It'd just be the same day. All right. So we have, we have some questions. Art Center asked, are, are, uh, am I using Pipeware yet? The answer to that is... <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Been there, done that, ruined the system. Um, so, no. Um, well, pipe wire and pulse mix together really well. Really well. It's just when you have pipe wire by itself, it's kind of a problem. Um, my problem is they do the updates and then things break. Uh, Alexandre says, uh, go bold Linux run. I have it on my list. I haven't had a chance to do it. I looked into it and it looked like it was going to be more complicated than 
just like a 10 minute video. So I, I still have it on my list. I do plan on doing it. Uh, Waffle says, Matt, you should become a Gucci model. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Podcast with Luke and Black Luke when? <laughs> uh, now, if, if you manage to get Luke and Mental Outlaw on your podcast, I'd be I'd, that'd be so much fun. I'd watch the crap out of that. Um, I I am trying I am trying to uh, as soon as I get back, like as soon as Christmas and everything is done, and I've got time. Uh, I do plan on trying to reach out to Mental Outlaw, but at the same time, I really don't know that I want to do a podcast with Luke Smith. Not that I wouldn't be interested in talking with the man, but I have a feeling the comments that I'm going to get are kind of not something that I'm interested in reading a ton. The funny thing is, I think you'd have more luck getting Luke Smith to be on a podcast than Mental Outlaw. I don't think Mental Outlaw has ever done a collaboration with anybody else. Might be wrong about that, but I've never seen him do anything with anybody else. Uh, now that you say it, I haven't seen him do anything. I've, with I've, with I've seen else. Luke Smith do like Luke Smith and DT have talked, um, mm -hmm. so I know that they they've done collaborations before. I don't think that he's done it any time. Like he doesn't. Luke Smith doesn't do Linux content like hardly ever anymore. He's very much like Joe Collins. He doesn't do Linux content very much anymore. Um, Gucci is a clothing brand. I like. I think I knew that. Um, but I don't know why I would be like, I'm pretty sure that they don't want my fat ass as a model. I'm just, I'm just saying they don't have a plus line. Uh, I don't, I don't think anyone looks at me either and goes, Oh, model. Yeah. Oh, How dad, you dad, like, uh, Glossack says, thanks for the gallery DL app. Yeah. That was, that was my favorite of the top apps of the month. That was so good. Um, just pointed at Wallhaven. I'm going to download every single wallpaper on Wallhaven. That's just <laughs> that alone was good. Um, Lots of porn, uh, like half of those, half of that, uh, uh, the available sites that it worked with were hentai sites. So, um, that, that's definitely true, but it, it also worked with Flickr and 500 pixels and Twitter and, uh, Pinterest. Um, and I think it used to Reddit too. Um, so yeah, it had some legit sites on there too. And you just down, it would just go through and download all the, like you, you search for something on, uh, Wallhaven and it would download every single thing in that search result at full at full resolution so good uh, Glowsec, is there a plan for January like as in the the, the podcast like podcast we'll, we'll be we've talked about it. we're coming back to the sixth mm -hmm. we'll be back uh, Webex says um, would you please have a long session that shows us your entire Linux setup Things like how you configure the components, your window manager shortcuts, and your alias configs. I would consider doing that in like a stream or something. That would be that could be kind of fun. Um, That'd be that, yeah, that would be a good stream, like system breakdown kind of thing, like just going through and breaking down everything that you're doing on the I, system. Yeah, I did do a workflow uh, video maybe five months ago or so, but that could probably be updated. Um, Tyler would be a model for weed. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so true. All right, look, I'm not going to lie. If if a marijuana company like came up to me and was like, "Hey man, do you want to do you want to like advertise our products?" Like in an instant, I'd be like, "Yes." Like no questions asked. <laughs> yes. You can see in one hand he's got his Linux his Windows computer, on the other hand he's got a bong. <laughs> These things don't like, go together. <laughs> I, I I gotta be honest. Like, I'm not really open to sponsors, really at all. I'm not really interested in doing that thing. I know I could make money that way, but I'm not really interested in it, unless a weed company or Linode. Either one of those. Like, it, like to be honest, if I could like shill for a weed company and like Linode at the same time be like sponsored by two companies like that. Yeah, I'd be uh, th those would be the only like sponsors I'd be interested in. I'm open to sponsorships, but I don't have any. <laughs> Alexander, yes. Pay pay me in weed, please. I'd be fine with that. <laughs> hey, I mean, green's green, brother. <laughs> uh, uh I'm glad to know that glow that they don't have a, a, a limit. I didn't wasn't patient enough to go over a hundred hundred the month when I did try that. Um, but 
man, Gallery DL is so good. Um, it's so good. All right. Any gaming streams in 2022? <laughs> Why do you guys want to watch that torture? <laughs> I'm not a gamer. Um, I have Steam installed. I haven't opened it in like a month. Like I bought uh, Civilization, was it six or whatever? And uh, it won't launch on Linux. Like it says it, it's a Linux native thing, and it just I'm having the same problems I was having with um, Battlefront, where I press the play button. It does absolutely nothing for about a half a second, and then it says well, it, it transfers then over to like the stop button. Like you, you know how the the play button transfers into a stop button when the game is running, and cool. then it goes immediately back to a play button. Nothing comes up, no one pops up, and that happened with Battlefront too, and it happened with uh, now Civilization. And Civilization is a native Linux game, as far as I can tell. So, um. Well, look, for everybody who is sad that Matt's not going to do gaming streams, look, I more than make up for it. I literally have a gaming-related stream scheduled already, okay? Yeah. So, like, I make up for it. Don't bother Matt about becoming a gamer, all right? I have a, a video plan planned for the top five Linux games, but... um. Okay, uh, so now you will do, like, nine-hour gaming streams with me, right? That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I You're a gamer, right? I, I, I'm not opposed to playing Zero AD eventually with you. Um, you heard it here, boys. That was a yes. He will play games with me for nine hours. But you scare the crap out of me when you play that thing because you <laughs> the, you look so intense. Um, this is this. Well, it does and, take so much focus because you're like you got to manage so much crap all at once. And I'm I'm I, I don't know that I have that type of uh, attention span. Is my problem. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, mean, I don't I'm, normally, but you just get like you just get sucked into zero AD because you know at any point like your buddy could just come over with an army and just mess your day up. Uh, TFL asked Matt, "Will you be checking out Hex's new books?" I did actually last night go to Amazon US to and search for that because he pro only provided the UK link right in mm -hmm. his description. So I went to Amazon US and searched for Hex DSL, and it took me to Hex DSLR. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I searched for the name of the book and it took me to gardening tools. So I messaged him back and asked him if he had a link to the U S one and he did provide that. So yes, I will be yep. buying that. Whether or not I will read it soon. I don't know. I have a ton of other stuff to read, but I want to make sure I support him because yep. the fact that he wrote a book uh, and it's published is freaking awesome. Yeah. I, uh, he actually, when we did our podcast, he actually sent me his EPUB, um, I believe he also sent me, ironically, he sent it to me as a PDF, which... So, so what I'm hearing is you're going to put the ship on, like, uh, like, like, Pirate Bay so nobody ever has to buy his book. That's that's wrong, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you ask Hex, like, hey, man, uh, can I just, like, get a copy of the book? I'm pretty sure he'd just send it to you. Like, uh, I, I don't. I'm As far as I know, he's only selling it on Amazon for like a few months or whatever, and then it'll be completely free, like yeah. on his website. Yeah, that's what he said. Um, but I don't, I don't mind. I mean, no, I like, get like, same here. Like I, I'm going to buy the paperback just to support him. Like in that way, like it's just kind of a cool thing. Like I'll have Hex's book just here. I've um, just decided I'm just going to buy both. Cause that's really all I'm doing is sending us some money. Cause you know, yeah. he says, it, he says it's, and I will say, since I have like read a bit of it, it's a good book. He, he, he definitely, he definitely can write. Which is good. I mean, if you're going to publish a book, it's kind of a necessary skill. Matt, you should become a pro CSGO player. <laughs> I can't play first-person shooters. I can't aim worth a damn. I'm really, really bad. I'm a spray and pray kind of guy. <laughs> That's more... Although, I will say, Tyler, that game that you were playing the other day that was like a mixture between Halo and Portal, what is that game? Splitgate. That looks really fun. I wouldn't be good at it, but I, it looks really fun. Is it's that... completely free. It is. I mean, it's not open source and free, but it is free. Is it like, a native Linux binary? Uh, as far as I know, yeah, it's complete. It's native. Yep. Now I don't know if you can get it anywhere other than Steam. I've never tried getting it. In, like I just got it from Steam, but I'm sure you. I'm sure you could get it elsewhere. I don't, I no I don't mind downloading stuff from Steam. It doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. um, except for half the time shit doesn't play. But I think that's mostly my problem. 
not Steam's problem. Uh, Glowsec asks us when we're going to do tutorial content. Um, I do tutorials every once in a while. <laughs> um, I really don't like doing tutorials, only because, to be honest, for most things, there's already one that exists, and I'm just going to be duplicating someone else's effort. And, I mean, also, too, a lot of the stuff that, like, I would make tutorials on, like, okay, I, I don't know. So, when I first started the channel, most of my stuff, when I did tutorials, were tutorials that weren't tutorials. It was watch along while Matt bumbles away through trying to do stuff. And I like those videos, so I might go back to doing some of those. Um, do things that I have absolutely no idea how to do, but call it a tutorial. <laughs> I just okay. Yep. Um, well, that's pretty much how I do it. Like I figure out how to operate a basic, like basically operate a small piece of software, and then I'm like, hey, here's how I do this. Expert. And it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, that's kind of kind of the sad thing. Like, if you wanted me to get like, I could do a tutorial on how to do like like IK, like inverse kinematics in like a game engine, but that has nothing to do with Linux. Like that's kind of where most of my detailed skills would be is in like game development and stuff. And also I really don't like doing tutorials because even if I was going to do it, that, like there's so many tutorials out there. So many. I'd I, rather just give my BS opinion on stuff and yeah, I don't, on, I don't you know? mind doing things other people have already done. Because if, if, if I did, I would never be able to make seven videos a week. So, That's true. That's true. Um, uh, I saw Linux Dabbler here. Hi, Linux Dabbler. How you doing, bud? Uh, hey. How, how's, your, how's your little baby, that future Arch Linux user? Um, I'm just, we all know that's going to happen. Um, hello, Miguel. How you doing? Um... Yeah, well, you are jumping uh, tax action. You are jumping in late because we are almost done because I know Tyler has to go. Um, he has a, a stream scheduled, so we don't want to make him late for that. Um, is Tyler still using Windows? Yes, he is. <laughs> Only Windows Not, 10 now. Yeah, I, <laughs> He's back I've, I've using been, Windows. <laughs> yeah, I, I was using Fedora for quite a while. Really liking it. Didn't really have a problem with Fedora. But... Um, Again, developing a game in Unreal, I just don't want to run into any weird Unreal glitches or bugs because I'm developing on Linux. So, I'm Again, just using Again, all Windows. I hear are excuses. And I, it's not really excuses. Blah, 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 I mean, blah, blah, blah. And, and I love Linux. I, I love Linux. I love Windows. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Someone finally acknowledges it. Uh, yeah. But um, <laughs> to everyone who wants to, like, if you want to grill me about using Windows for a while, look, just come over to the stream. I'll be going for a while. You can grill, like, sadly, I plan on streaming for a very long time. So there is, you have plenty of time to grill me about using Windows. I'm going to be in the chat just shouting Windows oh, the whole time. Windows. <laughs> and, so, I mean, and then at the end, I'll be like, Gen 2. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna regret all this joking about Jintu when that actual challenge hits the, the thing know? is uh, Sid upped his contribution this last week from $13 to $50 a month so I'm like at 136 bucks now so I'm getting closer Like there's, there's gonna be you're right there is gonna be somebody out there that will just say I wanna see this guy install Jintu again so I'm gonna give him the see, money that's what I need to learn like, that, that's why I'm not really doing like, like making any r extreme amounts of money on Patreon. I don't have ridiculous goals set, so I need to set some goals that the community knows that I wouldn't like, and that's how I'll start making money. Uh, that's the side. That's, that's how it works. <laughs> like I brought the gen two, the gen two guys out. Like, I, 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 I triggered them. Um, see, so your your issue, Tyler, is, and we have video proof of this, is that when you did say i'll do this for money you set the goal so ridiculously low mm -hmm. <laughs> that you end up spending a week in plan nine for fifty dollars <laughs> like, like come on man have i taught you nothing yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how much money would it cost for you to live in plan nine again for another uh, like for like, another week yeah i'm just curious if you've finally upped your standards No kidding, like uh, honest to God, I'd do it for five hundred dollars. I would. 
for wrong. 500 i mean yeah. at least it's you asked for more than you did last time <laughs> i just i just think i'll ask for 10 times more like it was it was 10 times more of a pain in the ass than i thought it was going to be so i should at least get paid 10 times more so <laughs> look plan nine is very interesting and everything just because i know I, we've got lewis in here like look plan nine it's very interesting but to use it on a daily basis it it's terrible it's there's no reason to use it. It can't do anything. Like, well, not anything. But unless you want to edit some text files. Everything else is <laughs> Did out. you see t- TFL's comment? <laughs> Tyler but, doesn't like freedom. That's why he uses Windows. Enjoys being put in a small box and told what he can and cannot do while being watched 24-7. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> like how he describes me like a... Like I'm some lab rat. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you are, are you not? <laughs> I, mean, I am being studied like one, so. <laughs> no. that, that's so great. <laughs> oh, that that is just the best thing ever. <laughs> You just spent the whole podcast trolling you because you use Windows again, man. You gotta you gotta stop doing this. Tell, stop telling me at least, you know, because you know, know you know I'm gonna spend the whole time just giving you shit. Um, well, I also don't want to have it happen where you find out at the end again, and then you're like, "What the? Oh, come on, well, man! I could have had it in a whole hour." That was the Mac OS one, right? <laughs> How much for sh- what? Is, what is Shrine OS? I'm not, people tell me this and that in Temple OS. I don't even know what they are. Shrine OS is Temple OS, but it, with some improvements. Like, I believe Shrine OS is the one that like. I think it holds more true. I can't remember if it's the one that holds more true or less true to like uh, Terry Davis's actual like vision for the OS. Mm. Uh, I think Shrine OS is the one where it adds like a whole bunch of hardware support. Does a it does a ton of stuff to temp, like OG Temple OS. I think Shrine OS is the one where it still doesn't add internet capability. <laughs> like there's still no such thing as internet. And Die German Pen Guy says, uh, how much for Exerbo? I still don't know what Exerbo is either, so. Um. I'd be more than happy to do it for $500. More than happy. You're finally set, at least setting your goals at a reasonable amount. That Like, that's real money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can, $50 is, a, is a, like a half a stake these days. Uh, Crazy Chicken says Shrine House has internet, so. Uh, Winning, I guess. <laughs> TFL said he's actually a Microsoft spy, so I'm here to sow Discord among us righteous Linux users. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's so funny. I I wish I wish Microsoft was paying me because that would make using their OS feel a lot better. Uh, Just kind of would. You're you're a good Papa Linux dabbler. You're gonna you 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 love your kid no matter what distro he he's gonna use when he grows up. Um. I uh, I love it. Just like I I mean I love my kids, but if they're using Linux Mint, yeah, mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, I'll only kick my kid out if he's a gnome lover. Like, it's just yeah, that's where I draw the line. Like seriously. Yeah. Like KDE, like Window Manager, like Budgie, like Cinnamon. I don't care. You're if you're a GNOME user, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're kicked out of the house, son. <laughs> like, 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 sorry, kid. I don't know where I went wrong with you, but I gotta start over again. <laughs> Look, I gotta, I, I gotta make sure the rest of my kids come out right. All right, get uh, on. <laughs> can't be, can't be poisoning my other kids. You'd have to pay. You'd have to TFLs, and you'd have to pay me a lot of money to live in Windows. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that TFL, because again, as we all know, he hates terminals. I feel like he'd really like Windows. I feel like he really would. And and then I mean, he's always talking about how you know, like there's too much overhead on his system, you know, so. Look, just install Windows, all of that tracking and spying going on. It really helps to minimize the overhead and, you know, it's great. It's, you should definitely do it. Like to eat up your RAM. You'll like it. You'll love it. It's great. 
If TFL uses Windows, we'll know that it's your fault. I'm just saying. <laughs> See you, that that's you're... that's how I'll start getting hate. <laughs> like I'll start getting hate when TFL does a choking video where he sounds completely serious and it's just all about how great PowerShell is and how beautiful of a company Microsoft is, how Bill Gates is genuinely one of the most brilliant people that have ever lived. You've corrupted TFL, man. How dare you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like just right after that video, I'll get like I'll just get so much hate on my channel, just so much. Oh, we're in like you're room. you're you're a cancer in this community. Oh goodness! <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be. It. Even butter, even buddy thinks that we've been going for a little bit too long. So, uh, we we did make it past an hour of record time, which is we we had literally no topics. We just bullshitted for over an hour. So, um, that is it for us on this episode. Uh, we don't have picks of the week. We literally put there. There are no show notes for this. Like literally, there will be no show notes. Like there's none. I have no links, no contact information. Uh, I will take a moment to thank my current patrons: Sid A, Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen Two is Fun Two, Patrick L, Primus, Marcus Meglin, Jackson F Tool, Steve A, Mitchell Art Center, and Mateus Carbon Dated, not Carbonated, Carbon Dated. Uh, Merrick Camp, Joshua Lee, J Dog, The BSDs Rock, Peter A, and Crucible. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, this is again, like I said at the beginning, the last podcast of the year. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's like 15 days left in this month. Um, so 15 days left in the year. So, uh, we'll be back January 6th. We record this live. Um, when we come back, we'll be recording it live every Thursday at three o'clock PM Eastern time. Check your time zones for where it'll be near you. And, uh, we'll see you in 2022. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Bye.